statement. Uh, you have carried with you 55 member delegation. That's tremendous. We appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chief Minister, uh, Dr. Mitra, Madam Minister. It's a great pleasure. Uh, the first thing to keep punctual, our new high, uh, head of our office here in Kolkata is going to time me. And when I get to four minutes and 30 seconds, he will give me a clear sign that enough is enough. Uh, Madam, Ch Madam Chief Minister, we do have 55 companies and organizations here today. Why is that? Why have they come here? Is it because of the unimaginable beauty of your state? From when I looked out over towards, from the tea gardens towards Kachenjunga to going down to the uh, Sundarbans, your environment is like none other I have ever been to. Is it because of the fantastic education you have? Uh, the re relationships between British universities, wonderful to have Oxford University here, um, uh, Britain's second best university, uh, but I very much hope you'll come to visit it. Wonderful place. Um, is it because of the economic dynamism of your state? We heard how fast it's growing. I think it's one thing above everything else, and I've seen this myself, which is the incredible human talent of this state. This is a, this is a state which pours out brilliant people all over the world. And I want to give thanks to the people of West Bengal for what they do for my country. For example, the doctors and nurses who work in our health service, um, the outstanding academics we have, my outstanding colleagues uh, here in Kolkata, across our network in India, but also in the United Kingdom, where we have many talented Bengalis who are working in the foreign ministry and in the British civil service. It's not surprising. A, a, a state which can produce Rabindranath Rabinad, Tagore, Satyajit Ray, and Saurabh Ganguly must have some sort of creative genius within it. And that culture and that heritage and that education you so correctly described in the work, I was about to say that it is incalculable, but it is not. You gave the numbers, Madam Chief Minister, of what the value is to the state of West Bengal from Durga Puja, uh, both a wonderful cultural event, but also a great economic event and the opportunities which I think West Bengal provides. So a great state in a great country, the UK and India, I don't need to tell a West Bengal audience have what we'll call a complex history. But what I think there's a great moment now to really look ahead through the companies which we have here, employing 30,000 people, also through the government-to-government -government relations, because the thing which would achieve, Madam Chief Minister, your goal of doubling exports more than anything else would be a free trade agreement between the United Kingdom and India. And that would be a great achievement, I think, between our two countries. Finally, this is a state about the heart as well as about the pocket. Um, every morning, I start my day with a taste of West Bengal, the superb tea which you grow in the north of the state. Secondly, I think I paid this state the ultimate compliment. The first place I brought my parents to when they came to visit India was West Bengal. They loved it. And finally, it is very thoughtful that the organizers of this event have given you all a very nice bag here. And it's been a nice little symbol as well, because if you look on your bag, I don't know if any of you have your bag with you here, you'll see, handcrafted in Bengal by Brampton, London. The combination of UK design and West Bengal manufacturing. It is an honor to speak to you today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, Excellency.